I just finished day one on my 21 day detox and purification journey. And I got to tell you, it wasn't bad. Um, you have to make sure you drink enough water, eat numerous times through the day. It's not just three meals, but snack a lot. The snacks I used were carrots, celery, some grapes. I'm going to be making more snacks uh, today, but doing pretty good. Out of curiosity, I got on the scale and I lost four pounds. Now you're going to say, what's the big deal? It's all water weight. But there's something very interesting. I said on my uh, video the other day that I've been having pain in my hips, my knees, my ankles. Well, for every one pound that you're overweight puts eight pounds of pressure on your hips, your knees, your ankles. So when you're having pain in those areas, it could be because one, you're overweight, two, you have toxins because toxins do cause inflammation, which leads to pain. So day one is going great. Looking forward to day two. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you one of the recipes we use, which is called shashuka. Delicious recipe. You can have it for breakfast, lunch, dinner. You can have it with um, some type of egg, fried egg, hard-boiled egg. You can put it over quinoa. So there are a lot of variations you can use with shashuka. Try saying that ten times fast. So keep watching so you can see the recipe, and I will see you on day two. So today I started my 21-day purification and detox program. And right now we're going to make shishuka. Shishuka comes from North Africa, and then it's spread across the Middle East. It's a very healthy dish. It's good for breakfast. It's good for lunch. You can have it with eggs, or you can have it with the meatless meatloaf that we made yesterday. You can also have it with vegetables. So it's very versatile, and let's get to it. So these are the simple ingredients we use for shishuka. Salt, pepper, paprika, a little bit of cayenne pepper, diced onion, diced tomatoes, cumin, tomato paste, and we're gonna add in the chopped pepper as well. This is really delicious, and I hope you enjoy it when you make it yourself. We got the garlic, onions, and pepper sauteing before we add in our other ingredients. You can let the onions caramelize a little bit just to give it a little more flavor. And we're sauteing it with a little bit of olive oil. Now we're going to add in two tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm just going to, I'm just going to eye it. just want that to cook a little bit so you get rid of the raw taste. And we want to add in with everything else. That was absolutely delicious. Like I said, this dish is very versatile. You can have it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, but you want to make it ahead so that this will last a good number of days, you don't have to cook it again. So basically, this can give you a number of different meals, so you're all set to go, you just have to warm it up. Now we're going to add our diced tomatoes. And as that's cooking down, we'll add the seasonings. So we added in the spices. We added in a pinch of cayenne pepper, cumin, paprika. The recipe will be in the description. 
Now normally what people do is they'll make a well in the, in the center or a couple of wells and they'll crack a raw egg in it, cover the pan and let the egg cook with the shishuka. Uh, I'm not going to do that but for breakfast I might have a hard boiled egg and slice it up in, this, in a portion of the shishuka for me or even have a fried egg. Because normally you would crack about four or six eggs in here and then serve it to breakfast for everyone. But I'm going to have this last so I have breakfast for a good number of days. So now we'll do some taste testing. See if we need to add any other seasonings. Could add in a little bit more salt and pepper. Needed a little more taste to that, and now comes the taste test. Mmm. The flavors melted beautifully. You can taste the cumin, a little bit of kick from the cayenne. This is delicious. Um, we're probably going to saute some zucchini and put it in a bowl and maybe have it with an egg as well. So I hope you enjoy. Keep following me. This is day one on my 21-day purification and detox adventure.